Welcome back to another video, and in today's video, we're ranking starting point cards without knowing what comes next. Basically, how this works is I'm going to be giving, I'm going to be spinning the wheel, giving five random point cards, and we have to rank them without knowing who the next one comes. And we're going to be trying to make the perfect list, five being the worst, one being the best, trying to rank them in that order. And pretty much the challenge is because we don't know who comes next, it makes it a little more difficult. You have to kind of think in your brain. If you like this kind of content, please should leave a like and subscribe to the channel. If this video can do well, I will do the shooting guards tomorrow. And also, I thank you guys so much for the growth. The growth in this channel has been amazing. Hopefully, we can keep it up because it's just been unreal. We're almost at 1K. We are on the road to 1K. We are at 930 right now. So if you are new and you like the content, please should subscribe. Let's get straight into it. So our first spin, again, we are doing the point guards today. This could take one attempt. This could take 20. We don't know. We have the Oklahoma City Thunder, Shea. I'm going to put Shea at one. I'm putting Shea at one because I think he's the third best point guard behind Luca and Steph. So I feel pretty confident about that. So we got Shea at one as long as we don't get the Mavs or the um, Warriors. Close to the Warriors. There we got the Washington Wizards in... I guess is that Jordan Poole or is that Tyus Jones? I'm going to say Jordan Poole is going to play the two, so I'm going to say Tyus Jones. I'm putting Tyus Jones at four. I like Tyus Jones. I think he's a pretty underrated point guard. I just don't know how high I can rate him, really. And this runs over. Luka at two. I mean, we'll continue with the list, finish it out. But this, this we're definitely going to have another one because obviously Luka's better than, than uh, Shea, in my opinion, at least. Bulls, who's that? Is that Io Domasu or is that like Patrick Beverly? We'll just say it's Patrick Beverly. Patrick Beverly at five. I don't really like him. I mean, he's good defensively, but he's just old now. And then at three, we'll be putting the Suns, and that would be uh, who, uh, uh, Devin Booker. So I guess everything else was right except for if Luka and Shea were switched, that would have been a perfect list. But it's okay. We're on a round two. So you guys kind of get the, the what's going on here. Now we're on a round two. Hopefully we can get a list that's actually accurate. We get the Rockets, okay? Is this a men Thompson, right? I mean, he's going to start. Oh, is it Fred? They just got a Fred Van Fleet. So would they play Fred Van Fleet at two? I'm going to say it's going to be a men Thompson for now. I'm putting a men Thompson at three. I think it's he's going to, he's a, he's, he was drafted really high. So you got to give him some credit. But I don't know how high I can rate him without actually seeing him play. We get the Bulls again. Patrick Beverly. I have no problem putting that Patrick Beverly at five. I do not like him. Yes, he's good defensively, but he can't score. And he doesn't really do anything else that well. Next up, we have the Timberwolves. So that would be. Uh, Mike Conley, right? It's going to be Mike Conley. Um, I'll put Mike Conley at four. I'll put Mike Conley at four. I think Ben Thompson's going to be better than him this year. So we need two and one. This is looking like a solid list so far. We have Patrick Everly, Mike Conley, and Ben Thompson. We need some actual good point guards. And we get the Nuggets. Jamal Murray. I'll put Jamal Murray at two. I'm cool with that. We need somebody at one who is good. And we get the Miami Heat. Damon Lillard is expected to go to the Miami Heat, but for now it's still Kyle Lowry, so that's an L. Another L, back-to-back -back Ls, but it's fine. Uh, hopefully we can get it in this video. This, this Again, this could take 50 tries. You might be sitting here for a while. Next up, we have the Washington Wizards first. So, again, Tyus Jones. I'm going to put Tyus Jones at four. I still like Tyus Jones. I think he's a very underrated point guard going from the sixth man at the Grizzlies to a starter. I think he's going to... Um, just, he's going to do quite well, in my opinion. Luka, obviously, won. I mean, he's just, he, I think stats better, but I don't think we're going to be able to get the Warriors, in my opinion. Ooh, okay. I was, okay, I was thinking Tyrese Halliburton, but it's going to be the Nuggets again. Jamal Murray. I'm going to put Jamal Murray at... I could, be, I could be bad here. I'm going to put him at three. I think I can get someone else that's a little better than Jamal Murray. So we need five and two right now. And we're going to get the Utah Jazz. Who's the Utah Jazz point guard? Um... It's it's not it's not Jordan Clarkson. It's like Jordan Clarkson's not the starting point guard. There's no way he's the starting point guard. Who would it be then? It's actually I I don't know. Whoever the Jazz point guard is at five, I think it's like who is it actually? Now I'm kind of confused. Jazz point guard. I feel like I'm forgetting. I feel like it's like Colin Sexton, but I don't know exactly who it is. But Jazz point guard at five. Um, okay, because I don't remember who it is, so it's probably not good. And we need a number two, right? Dang it, man. We're so close, dude. We get Steph Curry. In my opinion, Steph's the best point guard in the league. Dang, man. We were so, so close. We were, again, just one spot away if we just switched Luka and Steph. All right. We're on to round four. Let's see what we get next. We're starting off with the Oklahoma City Thunder. Shea, last time I did get Luka, I'm going to still put him at one. He's the third best point guard, in my opinion. You just got to hope we don't get Luka or uh, the Warriors. The Warriors, I and mean, we get Thunder again, so we're going to spin again. Hopefully, we can just get some guys that we actually like. Miami Heat. Kyle Lowry 
or it's got a Kyle Lowry, right? I mean, five. I don't think Kyle Lowry's that good. He just shouldn't be starting anymore, in my opinion. So I'll put him at five. De- Devin Booker. I'm going to put Devin Booker at two. I like Devin Booker at two again, as long as. I mean, he's going to transition from a shooting guard to a point guard, so we'll see how that trans- transacts. We get the Grizzlies. Ja Morant. Assuming Jaw's healthy, I would probably still put Jaw or Devin Booker as a point guard. I mean, we'll just see how his game trends. Like, I'm going to put him at three, but I don't think this is a good list. I would put Jaw still ahead of Devin Booker. Who cares what we did off the field? I mean, obviously, it's not cool stuff, but I'm saying if we're if we're avoiding that and we're not talking about that, I think he's just a little bit better. We're kicking the thunder. I just think he's a little bit better than D-Book as a point guard. Not as a player, but as a point guard. Lamella Ball from Lamella Ball at four. So it's actually a pretty good list, but unfortunately, we don't get it done. We're on to our fifth try. Next up, we have the Sixers. Sixers, and that is going to be... James Harden has requested a trade. I'm just going to put Tyrese Maxey at the one. And I'm going to say Tyrese Maxey is going to go at number three. I think Maxey is a great point guard. I think he's a, or he's just a great guard overall. I like him a lot. Miami Heat again. We keep being the same teams. Kyle Lowry will put him at five. I, I don't think Kyle Lowry is that good. I think he's overrated. I think he's old and he just shouldn't be starting anymore. The Bulls, Patrick Beverly. I would put Lowry ahead of Patrick Beverly. So I'll put him at four, but... It's another not good list. I want a good list right now. Pacers. Tyrese Halliburton. Who do we put at three? We put Tyrese Maxey. I want to put Tyrese Halliburton at two. So we need someone that's better than Tyrese Halliburton. This list is pretty good, actually. And the Cavs? No, Bulls. Uh, we have this one again. We're going to the same teams. There's a lot of teams we haven't gone yet. We're just going to the same teams. And we're going to get the Spur, the Suns. Uh, Devin Booker. One, honestly, that's not a bad list at all. It's just I would have personally put... Kyle Lowry over Patrick Beverly. So we're going to have to go again. Great. I love this. This is amazing. Uh, we're starting off with the Oklahoma State Thunder yet again putting Shea at number one. And Shea at number one has to be secure unless we get a good team. The Bucks new team, okay. Drew Holiday. I'm putting Drew Holiday at three. I was close to putting him at two. I might regret that. But I'm going to put him at two. I'm going to put him at three for now. The Hawks, Trey Young, I'll put him at two. I like this list. We got Shea, Trey Young, and. Drew Holiday. Can we get a four and a five is the question. All right, come on. Just give me some trash point guards. Just trash. And we get the Hawks again. We get the Hawks again so we can spin again. That's fine. You know what? If we're going to go on the same team, that's fine. We get the Magic. Okay, I'm cool with that. Cole Anthony? Is that Cole Anthony? Um, Five. I'm putting Cole Anthony at five. I don't think he's that good. Okay, better than Cole Anthony. Worse than Trey Young. And we get freaking stuff. And we get Dame. Bro... Like, what are you doing? After? I mean, Dame's technically on the team, but he technically is still on the team. So, yeah, we, it's another bad list. Man, um, how, how many tries is that? Is that, like, six tries already? Yikes. Okay. So, we haven't had a really a good list yet. We have some, we've had some close lists, though, where it comes on, but I'm hoping that we can get the Shea, Luca, or Steph in this list, in my opinion. Raptors. So, Fred Van Fleet isn't there anymore. So, technically, their starting point guard would be... um, Who would that be, then? This is actually interesting. Oh, they got Dennis Schroeder. They got Dennis Schroeder for a contract. Um, I'll put Dennis Schroeder at four. He's not that bad. I just I think there's a lot better. Next up, we have the Pelicans. CJ McCollum. I'm putting CJ McCollum at three. Can't put him too highly because he he's always consistent, but you know he never made really an All Star game. So give the Warriors there. Ooh, okay. Tyus Jones. Res- Ooh, that's actually close between Tyus and Dennis Schroeder. I'll put Tyus at five. And I won't be mad with it, but I kind of feel like I should put Tyus over Dennis. We'll see. And we get the Knicks. Jalen Brunson, who we put at three. I'll put Jalen Brunson at two. So we need someone that's better than Jalen Brunson. That's all we need right now. And we get the Sixers. Tyus Max, unfortunately, is not better than Jalen Brunson. So that's another L. Man, we are are really struggling right now. We are really struggling. Okay. Uh, Let's run it back. (laughs) Eventually, we'll make it right. Eventually, we'll get it right. Next up, we have the Houston Rockets. Interesting. So, Amen Thompson. I'm putting Amen at four. I'm not going to make the same mistake I last time I'm putting him at three because we got to realize he hasn't played a single NBA game, so we don't know how to rate him. Do we get the Cavs? Then we get the Bulls. I haven't had the Cavs yet. Uh, let's go with Patrick Beverly, and we're going to put him at five. I think Amen Thompson's better than Patrick Beverly. I like this list right now. Can this list hold up? Please tell me this list holds up. We got the Nets. Who is, who would that be for the Nets? Is that, oh, I don't know. Is that Seth Curry? Seth Curry at three. I don't, I don't like that, but maybe it's decent. I don't know. I need some good point guards now, though. 
We get the Timberwolves, and that would be... I uh, love the Timberwolves point guard. Right, so this is a stinker list. This is going to be a list that I do not like at all. And we're going to end it with Luka, which is fair. But, yeah, this list is not good. We're going to have to go again. Man, we are just struggling right now. This is not... This is not good. Indiana Pacers. Indiana Pacers. Indiana Pacers. Starting off with Tyrese Halliburton. This is actually not easy. Uh, I'm going to put Tyrese Halliburton at two. He had a really, really good breakout year. I like that. Just hopefully we don't get a lot of good point cards. Honestly, cool. Lay on Steph. Lay on Steph. I'm cool with that. Steph at one. Cool. We know we have a guaranteed one. We need some bad point cards now. This is a good chance. But yeah, I want to stop. Please. No, not, no. Okay. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. I put, yeah, I put Tyrese over LaMelo Ball. I'll put LaMelo Ball at three. We're getting a lot of good point guards. We need some bad ones, though. Please give me a good bad point guard. Yes, Raptors or Pistons. I'm fine with that. I'm fine with that. Uh, Jay and Ivy, right? Because Kate's at the two. Jay and Ivy's at the one. Or is it the opposite? I don't know. Jay and Ivy, I'll put them at four. I'm cool with that. Jay or Kate, I, I don't think they're good enough yet to be ahead of LaMelo Ball. Give me a stinker. No, we got the. No, 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 no. We got the. We got Damian Lillard. It, it's a. This is a horror. Dude. I'm going to be recording for, like, 50 minutes to get a list that's actually good. Okay, we're getting a new team. Then we got the Cavs, Darius Garland. I'm putting Darius Garland at number two. I like Darius a lot. I like his game. He's a great passer. can also score at a really good level. Jalen Brunson, I think even though Darius Garland didn't make an all-star team, I'm going to respectfully put Jalen Brunson a little lower and put him at three. I like Darius Garland a little bit more. Next up, uh, Timberwolves. Uh, I don't know who their point guard is. Who actually is their point guard? Uh, five. I don't know who their point starting point guard is. I know everyone else. I don't know who their starting point guard is. Is that the Bucks? Bulls. Um, Patrick Beverly. I'll put him at four because I, at least I know who's starting. And then we just need someone who's better than Jalen Brunson. Uh, better than Tyrese Halliburton, right? I want to die. There's no way. Derek White. Okay, we're we're moving on. Man, these lists have just not treated us well right now. We need to have a good list to end this video off. Clippers, we're starting off, at, this is another new team, Russell Westbrook, I'll put Russell Westbrook at four, respectively, he isn't that good anymore, he's not in his prime, but I'm not going to put him at five, because he did kind of go crazy with the Clippers at the end of the year, Grizzlies, John Morant, I'm putting John at two, D don't care about what he did at in Austin, obviously it's not cool, but as a player, I'll put him at two, and Steph at one, okay, I like this list, Steph at one, Jaw at two, and then we have at four, we have, uh, who did we just get, shoot, um, I forget, but I know we have someone at four, uh, Bulls, Patrick Beverly, again, we've had him so many times, five, who did we get at four, now I'm gonna forget, you guys can see, I will not remember who we got, honestly, I don't remember, Magic, Cole Anthony, three, but who did we get, okay, now, now I'm gonna look through the teams and just see which one I recognize as a team that I actually got, um, man, I just don't, uh, please, Timberwolves, Timberwolves, wait, we put the Timberwolves at five, so I'm gonna put Pat at four, and then we put Cole Anthony at three. You know what? I'm cool with that. That's a good list. So we got whoever plays for the Timberwolves. I don't know. Um, I'll probably figure that out so I can put him in when the list goes on. But we got we got uh, Steph Curry. We got um, John Morant, Cole Anthony, Patrick Beverly, and whoever the Timberwolves point guard is. I'm actually cool with that list. I think that's a pretty good list. So that's where I'm going to end the video. If you enjoy this video, and this can do very, very well, I will do the shooting guards tomorrow. Leave a like on the video if you if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel if you are new and you enjoy the content because we are on the road to 1K and you don't want to miss out. Get on that train. Let's get to 1K right now. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.